Expelled students of Reddit. What was the reason for your expulsion? Told my classmates the dog treats I brought were jerky. Everyone including a couple from our sister class and the teachers ate them. I went to a private Christian university, and I have a friend who got expelled for supposedly exorcising a demon out of someone in the middle of a wide open courtyard. Wasn't my expulsion. Dude in my, Catholic, high school was trouble. Long line of disciplinary infractions. Final straw was, that a friend of his got a new car, so he decided to jerk off on it. The senior parking lot was a busy social scene before and after school. People would arrive around 30 minutes early and hang around their cars. Couples would have a pre-class it. folks would chat etc. So this guy, in front of all of us, pulled his pants down to his knees, and began beating his baloney. It was funny for the first 3 seconds or so. Then it became clear, that this guy was going to finish the job. Came all over the headlight. Some girls made disgusted sounds. Some guys laughed. Most people were just sort of in shock in having witnessed that. Dude was gone by the end of the day. Announcement that afternoon to all students that he was no longer permitted on school premises to include the parking lot and no one was to permit him entry to our buildings. He's a podiatrist now. Can I answer by proxy with a story? My high school was one of those high schools where we have a cop who just kind of chills at the one busy hallway intersection. Presumably to deal with drugs or fights or some shit. One day a kid was acting out. I wish I knew the full details but all I knew was he started some kind of altercation or fight and the cop stopped him. The kid was said something like you better get your hands off me. And of course the cop did not get his hands off him. The kid headbutted the cop and disoriented him then just beat the piss out of him and hospitalized him. That kid obviously got expelled, we got a new cop for our school, and I'm pretty sure, that kid is still in jail, because I think he was 18, so he didn't even get to get tried like a minor. This was an extraordinary story, my school was not usually this bad. We had a lot of potheads and a fight every now, and then but that was about it. Was absent for too many days. Had doctor's notes and chronic health problems. Was told to never come back. Not me, but my brother got expelled for using a vocabulary word correctly in a sentence. For context, it was not that long after Columbine, and people were overreacting to every little thing. My brother was not a bad kid, but was a bullied kid with a smart mouth. He had a history of making threats read. He once told another kid he was going to eat his grandchildren. Long story short, it was English class, and the teacher called on him and asked him to use the word retribution in a sentence. He said something to the effect of I will have retribution on those who have wronged me. School took it as a threat, and with his past record, he was expelled. Was watching porn in the back of the class with a couple of mates, we were 14, and it was religion period. Halfway through the volume randomly went up, and you could hear fuck me daddy, while the teacher was reading Quran. Happened to my best friend. In marching band in high school we all sat at the same cafeteria table. At the end of it, someone punched someone in the shoulder and said pass it on. And down the side of the table you'd get punched in the shoulder. You turn to the person next to you, punch them and say pass it on. My friend across the table was just playing the game and punched the kid next to him. We are in high school mind you. This kid starts crying and I mean crying really really hard. Lunch is over, and he runs to the assistant principal and tells him. The principal gets involved, and the punched kid's parents come in at the end of the day demanding my friend be expelled. The assistant principal interviews some of us from the table, and I said we were all playing and nobody punched anybody hard. He didn't buy it. Friend got expelled for 120 days. Had to re back to the school at the next school year. And when he did, was put on academic suspension which meant any screw ups. And he was permanently expelled from the school district. As for punched kid, I read a news article a couple years later where his father beat up his mother on Christmas Eve over his mistress. While reading some of these reasons I'm realizing that a lot of people at my Catholic high school should have been expelled. We had a dance once, and the lights had to be turned on and the dance stopped, because two kids were having sex on the dance floor. The girl was a teacher's daughter. Also a friend of mine puked on my principal's desk, because she was so drunk and another girl shit in the girl's bathroom sink. 
Oh and another guy punched his GF and a random dude because they were dancing together. All of these people only got suspended for a few days. It also all occurred during dances and somehow the school still continues to have dances. I had a girl in my Catholic high school get expelled for getting pregnant, but her boyfriend who admitted it was his was allowed to stay. A good mate of mine pissed in the holy water. Lightsaber battle. My friends and I arranged a giant lightsaber battle on the last day of my sophomore year of high school. It was a huge hit with the students, but the faculty wasn't thrilled. Being a private school, they felt it hurt their image and singled me out as the ringleader. On my first day back after the summer I was put on academic probation and expelled about a week later for profanity. Went to public school for my junior and senior year. Totally worth it. My friend and I stole a girl's reading book, singeing the edges of the cover so it would look like lost pirate booty and hid it in the art room. Then we used three rolls of masking tape to create a third spiral maze of stickiness that crisscrossed the room and gave the girl a singed edged pirate map to locate her book. She rolled her eyes at us, clambered through the tape maze, and retrieved her book, calling us dorks and laughing. However, a teacher discovered the taped up art room before we had a chance to take it down. My friend and I were called to the principal. I figured we were going to get in some trouble to wasting tape, or possibly suspended for using a lighter inside school. Nope. The principal explained that we had engaged in burning books which was an artsy behavior. When we tried to explain how our edge singing was merely decorative, she argued that any non-Nazi interpretation was obviously a lie because she had seen with her own eyes very clearly that we had used masking tape to create a giant swastika in the art room. A swastika? No, it's just a big vortex of tape. It's a, a maze. This wasn't a final straw type situation. Neither my friend nor I had ever, ever done anything before that could be somehow construed as Nazi positive. We had no interest in Nazis, weren't currently studying Nazis, and had no sympathy for Nazi thought. We had, however, neglected to know much about the book we'd taken from the girl. She was in a different English class than we were, and was reading a book we didn't know. It turned out to be Night by Elie Weasel, a first person account of living through the Nazi Holocaust. So from our point of view we were screwing around, wasting tape and being silly pirates. But from the principal's point of view we had desecrated a book about the holocaust and created a giant masking tape swastika in the art room. Oh, and the girl we had stolen the book from? She was Jewish. So was the principal. We were subjected to a long uncomfortable monologue about the horrors the principal's family had suffered trying to escape the holocaust. At the end of it, we made the appropriate noises of shock and contrition, and once again tried to explain how it really was a big misunderstanding, and that our actions were certainly dumb and irresponsible but not anti-semitic. But the next thing that happened, was we were walked to our lockers, and told to empty them. Our parents were called to pick us up. We were no longer welcome on the school property. The board of education would assist us in trying to find new placement at different schools so we could complete the 8th grade elsewhere. So that's why I was expelled. The one and only time in my life I was ever accused of being an accidental Nazi. I skipped school for sports day to study for university in transexams. Got expelled from school in my final month for doing this. It sweeted me fine. More time to cram coffee in middle school. It all started with this one kid, I'll call her Becky. Her mom drove her to school every day, and her mom bought at Starbucks. She'd share it with her friends, giving the sips. It was one of those real sugary specialty drinks that masked most of the coffee flavor. Becky and her friends were pretty popular, and as they went so did the school. It became a hip thing, to come to school with a coffee. Didn't matter if it was Starbucks Tim's, Dunkin' or even McDonald's. If you had coffee, when you walked into school you were cool. It was actually pretty funny seeing kids trying to swig down but a coffee to fit in. When it really caught on though, the administration noticed. Concerned about the health problems, and someone potentially getting burned coffee became banned. The thing was, at this point everyone was addicted. Kids were sluggish, getting caffeine withdrawal headaches and becoming miserable. I was in a unique position of being the only student on the school webpage club with a first period study hall. I would pop my head into homeroom, say I'm here, then head to the club room to update the webpage slash watch launch cast video on an unblocked computer. 
the club room was basically a few computers in a room connected to the east wing teacher's lounge. Nobody used that lounge though, as the west wing was only like 3 years old, and had a brand new lounge with new furniture and a TV. Anyways, all that is to set the background for the suspension. The old teacher's lounge had a coffee vending machine in it. 50 cents for what I now realize, was crappy instant coffee. I saw my opportunity, I'd have my friends give me a dollar and their order. I'd sneak into the lounge, get them a cup, and once they got a bathroom pass, they'd swing by and pick up their coffee. We were smart and used cans from the juice vending machine. Soda had been banned, but we had a minute made machine. Like I carry us though, I got too bold. I would go to second period with my can of coffee. The jig was up when my arm got bumped and I spilled hot coffee all over my crotch. I held my tongue from screaming and was wearing camo cargas so that teacher didn't know, but third period was gym, and it was penis inspection day, so coach noticed the redness. I failed penis inspection for the third time that year, and got suspended for a week. I had to go before the school board to see if I was gonna get expelled, but they decided not to. I sold a bunch of caffeine pills to my friends for 25 apiece and they were all worried about drugs. They even sent them off to be tested.